Hello, I'm Sokol, and I'll be going over how to properly use your pitch gauge. Alright, let's go over the different parts. We have the blade clamp. Alright. And over here, we have the indications or the dials. Um, as you can see, there's also a also an, a needle or a, a pointer which points to what a uh, you know number that your your pitch that you're reading. And we also have a a tightening screw right here. Um, e flight ones are pretty cheap, but they work. Uh, it doesn't really tighten on immensely and holds whatever you need, but it gets, gets a good firm grab on it so that it'll stay to the point that you need. All right, and pretty much, you know, it just swings up and down. Um, this one reads, if there was one more notch, it'd be 11. But pretty much all you really need is uh, 10, 10, and 0. All right, we'll go on to how this uh, works on the blades. All right, go over a few things you'll need. Um, me, personally, I use the blade holder. I'll show you how I use this in a minute. Of course, you'll need your pitch gauge. And also, you need um, your remote's power on. Um, another thing you'll need is you'll need to disable the motor. Um, the way I disable my motor is I use throttle hold. Um, I have my throttle hold pitch curve set linear. That way I have full negative and full positive. Alright. Now, I keep my motor at zero. That way when I throw on throttle hold that my motor won't spool up. Um, just to remember, if you do flip that off and you're at mid-stick, the helicopter will start spinning. So the recommended way to do it is to unplug your motor plugs and to switch up in idle up mode that way you have full range um, for me I'm going to use the throttle hold method um, just for now alright we're going to go over how to uh, use your pitch gauge alright with your heli, heli powered up and you have uh, your remote as you can see I have my motor disabled and I have full range of my collective Alright, what you want to do is you want to position your stick at mid-stick. That way you can get the zero pitch reading. Now, mind that I've already tracked my rotor system that these blades probably won't come zero pitch exactly on either side. But this is how to use a pitch gauge. Alright, my method, um, what I do is I use a pitch gauge and my blade holder. Now what I do with the blade holder is I stick it on the end here and I use the first blade holder at the top to hold my my uh, fly bar as level with the helicopter as possible. All right? Now it has a little bit of give I can also put it off to the side and just use just pressure to hold it level. As you can see, that's not level. And for me, that first one is level. Now what I do is I put the pitch gauge on. I use the first third of the blade, and this is where I put mine. Um, some people put theirs more on. Some people would half at the tip, all the way in. Um, the first half is where I say is probably your best choice. Um, for me, I use the first third. All right, so I slide her on, first third. Now, what you're looking for on how to do zero pitch is I set my pitch gauge at zero pitch, put a little line, zero pitch. Now, what you're looking for is you want to line up the top of this with your fly bar. Alright, so if I just go ahead and raise it up, as you can see, these blades are zero pitch. It's pretty level. It might be a little off just due to tracking, but... As you can see, what you're trying to line up is this line with the top of your fly bar. Alright? So that's zero pitch. Now you want to check for positive. Throw your collective all the way up. Just move it until you line up. Keep going. Keep going. And about right. Let's see. All right, there. 
And that looks like I'm sitting at 9. I may have to redo my head here, just seeing by that, but that's how you check the high side. Now check the low side, it's just the same thing. You line up the same parts, and that's how you read your gauge. And that one gave me 10, so that means my swash plate is off. But that's how you use a pitch gauge. Now what I do, is when I'm at mid stick, put this on, I measure my zero pitch, I spin the blades around, and I use the same side of the helicopter, given the fact that my swash plate is level, and I put it on, and I measure this side. Now one way to check your swash plate leveling is to zero pitch here, zero pitch on the four, uh, in the front of the helicopter. Let me take this off, show you. You know, do your, your pitch gauge with it like this, do it on the other side, that way you can check all four sides and you can check if your rotor blades or your swash plate anyway is level. Um, that's one way to check it. Uh, but if you install it and you're pretty sure your swash plate's level, um, it's okay to set your blades using one side of the, the uh, helicopter. And uh, that's pretty much how to use a pitch gauge. Um, there's not much more to it. Um, hope this helps you guys. Thanks.